Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be giving you my Scorpio February 2020 horoscope forecast part two of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is as far as February goes, Mars will be in Sagittarius from the first until the 16th. So the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So this time the situation uh, with people you generate money with, uh, people prominent your possessions, your resources that may be more contentious and acrimonious more so than usual. There may be arguments over uh, maybe philosophical differences, religion, uh, matters with the law, uh, matters about just being truthful. I mean, Sagittarius is about uh, the truth and veracity. Now, also, too, if you're unattached at this time, Scorpio, you may connect with a Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Sagittarius characteristics. It might be somebody that you strongly value, or someone figures prominently your, your possessions, your resources, and also your self-esteem, your self-worth, and how you feel about yourself. It could be somebody at the place that you generate uh, money at as well, and might figure prominently in your monetary situation. Now, um, could also be at this time where you could be putting a lot of energy into, and vitality into some Sagittarius money-making endeavor. It could be something connected with religion, the law, philosophy, sports, the outdoors, something with translation, foreign languages, foreign traveling, traveling uh, abroad. Uh, so anyway... Uh, well, the next thing, and also, too, you might be a little bit more touchy regarding your possessions at this time, and, and you might be uh, speaking the Sagittarius veritable truth, so to speak, and laying down the law as far as those matters go. Uh, so anyway, next thing up, well, Mars will be in Capricorn as far as February goes from the 16th until the 29th, so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, at this time, the situation uh, was... Uh, siblings, cousins, neighbors, people are uh, prominent. Your early education may be more contentious and acrimonious, more so than usual. It may also be, uh, it could be arguments over our responsibilities and it could be uh, political differences, matters connected with the government, even matters pertaining to business in, in some cases. And also uh, in, in matters connected with uh, really about maybe authority, it's just somebody maybe being overly authoritative as an example. And um, it could be too, uh, at this time, if you're unattached at this time, uh, Scorpio, you may connect uh, with a Capricorn sun, moon, or ascendant person, or something one that embodies a Capricorn uh, characteristics at this time. Maybe for a sexual liaison, maybe somebody that you may meet uh, in your, you know, might be a neighbor. It could be somebody that you meet through your short journeys, and uh, at this time as well, you might be. We could uh, this could uh, could be about having an abundance and surfeit of mental and physical energy at this time. It could be a lot of debating, more arguing, uh, more so than usual. And remember that Capricorn energy is pretty intransigent, so it could be about really being overly rigid in these, uh, perhaps in these arguments as well. But at the same time, Mars and Capricorn energy could be very uh, disciplined as well. So you got to factor that into the uh, equation, so to speak, as far as how this transit could uh, could manifest. So being in Capricorn does help a little bit and can give a little more restraint than otherwise indicated. Now. Now the next thing, um, and also it could be about putting a lot of energy into responsibilities in third house matters, and it could even be working on a vehicle and matters connected with your neighbors, your cousins, your siblings at this time, and putting a lot of energy doing, taking action, doing things in a very orthodox and conventional manner in these third house matters as well. Next thing up, Jupiter will still be in Capricorn, so the third house as well will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, the only way this may manifest, I mean, as I've talked about in previous videos, Jupiter can be rather paradoxical, can be very strongly benign and benevolent, but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand. Now, in some cases, this can enlarge and expand 
uh, responsibilities, limitations, restrictions uh, in matters with your short journeys, your local transportation, your communications at this time, matters with siblings, cousins, neighbors, and even it could uh, enlarge and expand really depressive energy in third house matters as well. A lot of despondency perhaps in your thinking, but at the same time, this could also be very fortuitous for Sagitt um, Capricorn type writings and communication. Some it could be writing something about like the government or business information technology. Even um, it could be writing about politics, um, dentistry. Um, it could be just about general uh, mundane work. Anything that could be a Capricorn related matters with responsibilities. So. Anyway, um, it's also at this time too, it could be, a, and also remember that, I mean, this is about really where, where philosophy and religion are, might be more things that are talked about at this time, uh, more so um, at this time. Uh, so those are some ways this can manifest and pan up, but it could also be be about incorporating um, some humor in your communications. Given its Capricorn energy, it could be really kind of that red rye, uh, that dry sense of humor. Uh, so uh, anyway. Well, the next thing up is Saturn will still be in Capricorn, so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, one way this may manifest and pan out uh, for you, Scorpio, you might find yourself taking care of a sickly or debilitated. Um, it could be a sibling, cousin, or neighbor, or someone you knew from your, uh, someone was prominent in your early education. It could be something Capricorn related, such as something with the knees, uh, the bones, the joints, the hamstrings, and maybe making you feel somewhat despondent and melancholy at this time. This could also be about dealing with certain restrictions and limitations in your community occasions your short journeys or maybe some mechanical issues uh, with your car I could say um, the skeleton of the car maybe given its Capricorn energy I'm only joking being flippant of course but you never know um, could also be at the time too where this could be about an increase in responsibilities to siblings to cousins to neighbors to your short journeys it could just be running errands uh, at this time and could also be a time too where older people might figure more prominently in information you're receiving you're assimilating you're learning you're doing things that are um, as far as your communications may go uh, at this time so those are some ways that this could uh, manifest and pan out for you at this time. This could also be about putting, getting structure and discipline in those communications uh, at this time for you, uh, Scorpio. But at the same time, remember that the third house is the rational mind. Saturn Capricorn energy could be very, could be depressive. So just guard against becoming overly despondent or melancholy uh, at, during this period. So anyway. Next thing up, Uranus will still be in Taurus, so the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlight. Now, at this time, if you're unattached Scorpio, it could be a time where you might marry a, um, a foreigner or become involved um, with a foreigner as far as uh, somebody that, that may be a significant other. Uh, it could be a time, too, where there might be some uh, where your relationships may be more erratic and sporadic, more so than usual. Uh, you might be dealing with certain unusual, stubborn, obstinate behavior from a significant other or grandmother. Um, it could be people that are in uh, that are in connected with you uh, as far as important uh, friendships may go uh, at this time. And also, too, this could also be a time where you might be dealing with some unusual, very unpredictable uh, legal mat uh, matters at this time, or it could be dealing with some Uranus type uh, open adversaries, such as people could be a, somebody in astrology or astronomy, aerospace, rocket science, and innovators, somebody in computers, uh, electronics, uh, anything that could be Uranus uh, related and could also be a time to where you might be requiring more independence and freedom in your relationships uh, more so than usual uh, Scorpio so 
and also to uh, it could also manifest in some cases in getting involved in some kind of Uranus like a like a business partnership such as something with aerospace or astronomy astrology something with maybe uh, computers or electronics or innovations that could be about the development of new concepts and uh, new ideas and and also to financial fluctuations in some cases may impact your relationships more so than usual because Uranus of course could be very fluctuating erratic and sporadic energy Taurus of course is connected uh, with money hold on a moment people sorry about that I'm back anyway Next thing up, Neptune will be in Pisces still, so the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, um, it could be a time, uh, Scorpio, where we may be dealing with some uh, deceptive, duplicitous uh, behavior with children, with lovers. Uh, it could be a time, too, where, uh, where these people may be a little bit more nebulous and unclear and also guard against uh, deceptive energy and fraudulent schemes connected with something of a speculative nature. If somebody's trying to get you to invest in something, make sure you're seeing all the fine print because Neptune energy could be very foggy, unclear, nebulous, very obscure, and it's often difficult to see the fine print in these matters. Now... Another thing, too, is you could be doing something, uh, on a positive note, uh, something Neptune-related as far as your uh, amusement and fun and enjoyment goes. It could be something with poetry, uh, dancing, uh, photography, chemistry, the metaphysical, which includes astrology, spirituality, something connected with fantasy like playing Dungeons and Dragons. And could also be like getting, uh, doing something in some cases, if you're like a big sports fan, uh, doing something uh, with hypothetical sports, like hypothetical sports sports matchups such as playing the 1927 uh, New York Yankees against the 1975 Cincinnati Reds in a series like going on to what of sports.com and playing um, these fantastical hypothetical sports matchups things uh, of that nature we were talking about Neptune and astrology it could show um, where wherever it is at the time in one's chart uh, can indicate where one might be more inclined to daydreaming and fantasizing as opposed to taking action on it. could be more where you feel more like fantasizing and daydreaming in fifth house matters as opposed to taking action on them, especially if this is making an adverse aspect to one's Mars, Sun, or Ascendant at this time, which could increase that propensity anyway. Last but not least, Pluto will be in Capricorn still, so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time. Well, uh, and a lot of you don't want me to say the dreaded D word, but you know I'm going to anyway. It could be a time where you might be dealing with an actual or literal death of a sibling, a cousin, a neighbor, someone that was prominent in your early education, someone you know through short journeys, such as maybe a storekeeper that maybe you knew well and had a rapport with. It could also be a time to where you might find yourself communicating more about very deep subjects and not wanting to to talk about things that are frivolous or superficial it's where your mind might be more investigative and probing more so than usual uh, at this time it could also be a time too where you might find some kind of transformation in your uh, communication I'm not saying that you're going to be getting like you know having to you know do something in terms of uh, you know uh, getting some device to talk, uh, you know, be able to talk or something, but uh, it could be a time where it could be, again, a transforming period in the way you communicate about one way or another. It could simply be about, you know, if you're somebody that's not on the internet, much going on the internet to communicate uh, more. Again, I'm not saying you're going to get a voice transformer or anything or find some radical new way of communicating, but at the same time, uh, keep in mind that Pluto can, I uh, mean, could be a time too where you might find yourself. Uh, I mean, Pluto can be about obliteration, destruction. This could be about, you know, the destruction or obliteration in, in your communications in general, or uh, matters uh, could be with short journeys such as your vehicle and anything else third house. Uh, related but keep in mind too that pluto uh, is also about revival rebirth and regeneration so if something goes away with pluto it may often uh come back and be revived later on or even be supplanted with something different so um 
Also, one other thing I want to say about this avoid, uh, it could be a time to where you might be dealing uh, with some power struggles and upheavals uh, in matters uh, with siblings, with cousins, with neighbors, and uh, maybe even people you knew from your early education. So, um, and it could also be a time where you might find yourself communicating more about Plutonian things. Uh, it could be deep subjects and uh, astrology, supernatural, the occult, insurance, things connected with transformation, anything that could be uh, matters connected with death. Uh, you might be little. You might be talking about things that might be considered more morbid uh, to some others. So anyway. That will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, stay well.